Standard offers everything needed for a complete GDI service, from new GDI injectors to high-pressure fuel pumps, fuel feed lines, and much more. Gasoline direct injection has become the new standard for today's vehicles. It has allowed the OEMs to control the amount of fuel needed for combustion to a degree which was previously unthinkable. When a GDI vehicle comes into your shop for service, there are several things you need to be aware of before you start diagnosing or repairing that fuel system. Here are several tips, tricks, and best practices for GDI service. Let's start with the basics depressurize the system before you start a repair. There are a number of ways that this can be achieved. You could remove the relay for the supply pump inside the fuel tank, then crank the engine. With no supply of fuel, the high pressure fuel pump won't have anything to pressurize. However, a better alternative is to use a scan tool to depressurize the system. This method typically redirects the fuel back to the fuel tank so it won't put any strain on the fuel system. You can confirm that the fuel system has been depressurized by checking the data reading from the fuel pressure sensor. Pay close attention to the seals on the direct injectors. In most applications, the seal ring, which seals the injector to the combustion chamber, cannot be reused. These seals are often made of materials such as Teflon, and they require special tools to install them. The seal needs to be carefully and uniformly stretched to slide onto the injector. Then it's resized to fit into the groove on the end of the injector. It is best to check the OE service information whenever you are servicing these injectors. The next thing to consider whenever servicing a GDI system is the engine oil. Now, what does the engine oil have to do with the fuel system? Regular oil changes are especially important on GDI engines. As the engine oil ages, the additives inside it will begin to break down. This can speed up the formation of carbon deposits on the intake valves, leading to a number of drivability concerns. Old, broken down oil, or the incorrect grade, type, or viscosity oil can lead to abnormal internal engine wear. This includes the special lobe on the camshaft which drives the high pressure fuel pump. If this lobe wears down, it may not fully actuate the high pressure fuel pump, resulting in a lower peak fuel pressure. The high pressure fuel line is another component which may not be reusable during service. In many applications, the fittings on the end of the line will have a sealant applied inside the threads, or the fitting may stretch or crush during install to form a tight seal. You may also see a yellow tag or sticker on the fuel line which says high pressure fuel line do not reuse or something similar. And finally, be extremely careful whenever searching for a fuel leak source. GDI systems operate under enormous pressure and this pressurized fuel can pose a number of health risks if you are not careful. Wear your personal protective equipment, not just some of the time, but all the time. If you are having trouble finding the source of a leak, try using a telescoping mirror or the camera on your smartphone to gain access to those hard to reach areas in the engine bay. If you can't find an external leak, check the engine oil. It's possible for fuel to leak out of the high pressure fuel pump and into the crankcase. I'm Brian Sexton. Thanks for watching. Standard offers the most complete GDI program. Discover the standard GDI Advantage.